Welcome to another episode of how to automate your whatever you need to automate. In this video, we're going to talk about how to automate the process to get your documents from Word or Google Docs to Markdown. Markdown is a great format because you, it's transferable. You can actually just copy it into a website and right click an extension and converts the document. And so you can move the documents between platforms. So you're agnostic and the companies don't own your content and make it like pulling teeth to get your content out of their system. And it also is very easy to write in. You just keep your hands on the keyboard. You don't have to fight with uh, moving the mouse and trying to find the bold button and then and then getting the bold just right. And it's just easy to fix. But it can be really hard to get something out of Word into Markdown. So let's talk about that. We were at a project we were working on. It was taking our team hours and hours and hours. And I was like, there's got to be a way, better way to do this. I did some research and I found that this is the best way to do it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go find our Word document. OK, the first problem we have is it's, it's in Word. It's really hard to copy things from Word. So we're going to right click this and we're going to make a copy of it. Actually, we're going to go into the document and we're going to make a we're going to copy it because that button doesn't exist in the drop down. We're going to click on file. This loads. All right, we're going to click on file and then we're going to click on save as Google Docs. And this is going to save the document as a Google document. Now that we have the document as a Google document, we're going to hit Control A, Control C, and then we're going to open up my favorite markdown editor, Typera. I've got the latest version. I'm going to hit Control V, and then it's going to paste in everything. Now, one thing you're going to notice, if I hit Control Backsplash on my keyboard and bring up the code, you get these really long uh, Google names, which are really, really weird. Right, these extensions. Uh, so these things are like these documents are stored on Google, and they still show up on my desktop app, which is weird. So what you have to do is you got to convert them. So I'm going to save this document. Okay. Uh, first off, I'm going to type per. I'm going to preferences, and then you go to images, and you say copy image to the file path assets. And then you also can make these settings here. Apply rules to local images, apply above rules to outline images, and then use relative paths if possible. Okay. Now, once you do that, I'm going to go ahead and undo this because there's a big problem. I have to tell Typer where my document is. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and save this and put this in a folder. All right, so I'm going to call this Automate uh, Portal. And then, and this is a reference guide about the Automate Portal. And then what I'm going to do is going to go back to this document. And then I'm going to hit Command A and C. And I'm going to go back to Typera and paste this. Let's try this again. We're going to control A, control C, and then we're going to go into type pro and control V. It asks you to create a folder and continue. Hit yes. And you're going to see that the images are being created for you on the fly here. So you're going to, we can write, we can <coughs> hit the control forward slash and you're going to see the actual images are stored on the drive which is really cool so now the trick is to put this in like a, a, a like a s3 bucket or something like that amazon s3 bucket so what you'll do is you'll go to that folder all right so you'll notice that this is automate to portal um, and then you'll also notice that it has the assets in here. 
so it has all the images. Um, sometimes you might have to rename these because these paths can get quite along, uh, which is easy to do. But basically, I have this in Google Drive, so I can share this to other people. They can work from it, and uh, then we can convert it to an S3 bucket, and then we can actually work with the documents um, and copy them between, like what we typically do is write it in Markdown, and we can copy it to Zendesk, and then copy it to our app, and everything. So hope this helped you um, automate that process. Thank you. Also, if you're looking to automate your accounting, please check us out at automate.com. Thank you.